Every year, TVs continue to amaze us, and in 2018, it will be no different. We're going to see a lot of television sets at different price points, different technologies powering them that will bring something very unique and interesting to the table. So with that, here is a look at the TVs that I want to look at in 2018. Starting off first with the, um, the first modular micro LED TV from Samsung. This is, they call it the wall. Now, this is 146 inch TV made from micro LED panels and what you have with micro LED panels are basically really small panels that are uh, each pixel is self illuminating making it a very interesting technology where you can probably build out your TV set from either side so maybe if you buy say a 50 inch and you want to upgrade you can have definitely upgrade and increase it with using the micro LED panels right there it's an intriguing point because uh, what you have here is something that can achieve true blacks it can also uh, uh, hit those white color gambits as far reaching as you want and also can give you some really awesome picture quality. So the wall that we saw at, at the Samsung event at CES, or the wall TV, it was a 4K TV and it looks absolutely stunning. Now another aspect that Samsung showed is the ability to upscale to 8K. What was interesting is the fact that they showed upscaling from 720p to 8K and it looked very, very good. So we might see that with the wall TV, we might see with other Samsung TVs coming up this year. Now in 2018, we also have LG's OLED, which are gonna be powered by AI. LG has a brand new AI platform, the ThinkQ, that does a lot more and takes the OLEDs to the very next level. So you've got Google Assistant built in, you also have Alexa functionality, but you can do more with this. So it can be a hub for all your connected devices. You can go ahead and navigate and talk to your, your smart TV to actually control functions and, and capabilities. Plus you still have that gorgeous OLED pack Panel. It's driven by the new Alpha 9 processor, better, better picture quality, really clear, really sharp, a lot of great features that I think LG is adding this year to make this a TV that you might have to pick up. Now the next TV set to check out this year is the TCL 6 Series. TCL did a bang up job in 2017 and they're coming to rock the house again this year with the 6 Series, which of course is a full array TV, Dolby Vision built in, HDR Gamma Pro support, uh, full array, also of course has Roku as well. And the rumored price point at 650 is truly amazing. Again, I think TCL is one of the uh, brands to watch out this year and you definitely have to check out what they have to offer with the 6 Series. So the next TV we're taking a look at is the Sony 85 inch 8K LED with a 10,000 nit HDR ratio. I mean, it is shocking, 10,000 nits. Just to give you perspective, current TVs are at like maximum 2,000 nits. Movies are shot and recorded at 4,000 nits. This is at 10,000, which is the maximum a human eye can perceive in terms of nit ratio for HDR. So this thing is absolutely lifelike and stunning. It is powered by the Sony X1 Ultimate chipset, which should give you basically some really solid performance to push 8K at this high nit ratio. As you can see the video, everything looks like you're really looking at the Ferrari, the car, the food, everything you've seen so far. It's very, very lifelike. Hopefully we get to see this TV in 2018 because it looks damn good. Next up is the big format gaming display from um, NVIDIA, uh, partner with Acer, HP, and Asus. Now, this thing is really crazy. It's got, it's a 4K, 120 hertz, 65 inch display with G-Sync built in, a HDR up to a thousand nits. It's also got an NVIDIA shield built into this thing. Now, I want to thank my buddy, the tech chap, for actually helping me with this content. Go ahead and check out his full video. It's up there in the cards right there. What is this is, is a massive display that you can hook up your, your PC or your gaming console. It's got HDR, HDR HDMI uh, 2.0B, it's also got DisplayPort, which gives you that full PC experience and a better gaming experience according to NVIDIA. Now, this will be interesting to see how it works, how much is priced, we don't know that, but the fact that they're pushing gaming on a TV to much higher levels is very interesting and something that a lot of people might buy if you're a PC gamer that wants to have that big experience in your living room. 
Now, if the BFG is too much for you, you can look at some monitors that LG has. They have a 5K ultra wide monitor, which is absolutely fantastic. It's got, of course, 100% RGB color rating. Uh, there's HDR. Uh, it's got three Thunderbolt ports. So all the things you need are right there as well. So you can game, you can edit. This thing is really, really nice. Now, I know this isn't coming out this year, but I still had to talk about the um, rollable 65 inch OLED from LG Display. Not to be confused by LG TVs. This is actually just awesome and pretty cool. The fact that you can roll up a 65 inch display anytime you want makes it completely crazy and something I think a lot of people would like to see in their home. So, hopefully, LG TVs works with LG Display to actually give us a rollable TV maybe by the end of the year or maybe early 2019. But I have to say though, the fact that, that this is possible and it's actually here and I got to see it was truly incredible. Now I know this is not a TV, but it's still part of the TV experience. So we're taking a look at quickly at the SK10Y from LG with Meridian. This is the Adobe Atmos soundbar. This thing kicks up some really great sound and improves from what they did last year. So this will take your viewing uh, to the next level, especially with audio with your TV sets. Now, there are a lot of TVs we've seen in this video and there are gonna be a lot of great TVs this year, whether it's micro LEDs, whether it's you know upscaling to 8K, whether it's OLED built in with AI technology and also uh, buying TVs at a spectacular price point. I think there are a lot of things to pick from and I think a lot of things that a lot of people will love to see this year. So any questions or any comments guys, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you. We'll also have reviews of these TVs when they come out throughout the year. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.